Hey, I'm Armando Work. I'm one of the engineers at Medusa. And in these videos, I will introduce you to the Medusa framework. The framework serves as a foundation for all the Medusa applications. If you have heard about terms like modules, workflows, services, DML, they all are part of the framework. If you're a developer who's building e-commerce solutions using Medusa, then having a great understanding of the framework will take you miles. So yeah, let's get started. First things first, let's start by creating a new Medusa application. But before we do that, we will need two things. First, make sure we have at least Node 20 installed on our computer. I'm using Node 24, so I'm all good. Next, we will need a Postgres server. For that, I will be using this app called DB Engine. It allows me to download and run all sorts of different database servers. It's a free application that runs on Mac and Windows. But if you can't use it for any reason, just do a quick Google search on how you can install Postgres on your computer. And I think there will be plenty of articles on the same. Once we have these two things, we can go ahead and we can create a new application. For that, I will run this command, npx, create Medusa app at the rate latest, and then the name of our application. Let's call it Learning Medusa, because that's exactly what we are doing. Press enter. Now, here we get a prompt. Do we want to create a storefront as well? Now, for all these videos, we won't be doing anything with the storefront, so we can safely say no. And let's wait for a second while all the dependencies get installed. So once we are done, you will be redirected to this page where you can go ahead and create the first admin account that you can use to log in to the Medusa admin. So I will say at the rate medusajs.com, my first name, last name, a strong password. And now let's go to login and login into our admin. Now using this admin, you can manage your entire store, like you can add new products, you can manage the inventory, see who all customers are, what are the orders out there. But these videos are developer focused, so we won't be spending time doing admin things. Instead, we will focus more on the code. So I will close this window and go back to our terminal and let's see what happens when we create a new application. So very first out here, we can see that Medusa tries to create a new database and the database is named after your project. So it's like the Medusa prefix and then whatever is the name of your project, then the project directory gets created, then we install all the dependencies, then we run all the database migrations, then we seed the database with some dummy data and that's pretty much all. So let's close our development server and we will cd into our project directory which is learning medusa and uh, let's open this in our code editor so this is how a brand new medusa application looks like it's a standard node application where you can pull in more dependencies from npm you can deploy it to any server you like in short you have complete control over your source code all right let's see what we got here very first we have our package file which is a standard thing with every node application then we got here medusa config file this is where we will tweak the settings of our application or configure modules and then the most important one is the source directory this is where all your custom code will live be it the modules api routes admin extensions workflows everything goes inside the source directory but if you notice we don't have any functional code inside our application right now but we still have access to all these api routes we can still log into the admin we can still manage things and all this is coming from the packages which are installed in this application so if we go to our package.json file and out here we can see we have a bunch of medusa related packages so we have the framework which is the foundation for all the medusa applications and then we have this Medusa JS slash Medusa package, which includes all the API routes, workflows, modules, essentially everything you get out of the box as part of this particular package. In the upcoming videos, we will briefly go through the source code of these packages. But for now, I will leave you with this brand new Medusa application. Don't forget to go back to the terminal and start your development server using Yon Dev.